Hello, everyone in the internet, or on the internet, I guess, I don't know. Uh, this is going to be a sort of quote-unquote unboxing video, I guess. I don't, there's really no box in front of me that I can open, but it is manga-related. I do have about five manga in front of me right here uh, that I will be getting into. Uh, some of these... Actually, two of these I already posted a short about, uh, so we'll be getting to those first. And then um, the other three I purchased from Barnes & Noble, but I bought them through the Barnes & Noble app. So I'll be sort of going over that whole experience. <clears throat> maybe in this video, maybe in another video. But uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll start off with the two... Um, the two Newbery Comics purchases. Um, uh, yes, I, I frequently still go to, um, Newbery Comics. It's sort of a local, uh, kind of like Hot Topic, sort of, but a little brighter in the stores. Uh, and they sell mostly, like, music, uh, CDs, records, couple cassettes they sell a bunch of nerdy things uh like i said it's hot topic but you know not as goth um if you're you know sort of into that kind of stuff so the first the first one is uh good night pun pun this has been on my list forever it is by inio asano probably one of my favorite manga artists of all time um at least that's not a part of studio ghibli um his work is absolutely amazing. Everything is just lifelike. Uh, and just the stories that he that he tells in his mangas. Um, I think the first one that I read from Inio Asano was about this manga artist going through who had just finished a, a long-running series and he's burnt out and he doesn't know if he wants to continue on with a new series or just kind of take a step back. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to try to, to read Goodnight Pun Pun. Uh, I've, I've heard many, many good things about, uh, about this series. And plus, it's Inyo Asano. So, you know, I feel like everything he puts out is an absolute banger of a of a you know thing you know whatever he does is again his artwork is amazing him and junji ito i feel are like my two favorite manga artists because their artwork is ju and storytelling is just amazing so we'll go ahead and put that one off to the side the next one is uh the F full metal alchemist full metal edition uh, this is another uh, this is another manga slash anime that I've heard a lot of good things about. Um, I do know about the dog already, so that was I think that was kind of like a, a big spoiler. Um, if you don't know about the dog, don't look it up because it's it's not not really it's kind of sad. Really, so if you're not into that kind of stuff, don't look it up. But uh, if you know about the dog in Full Metal Alchemist, you know. So uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get to to start this uh, fairly soon. Uh, I am currently going through a couple of the, uh, you know, on a big backlog of. I got about a thousand manga, and I don't know what to read, so. Uh, those were the two Newbery Comics pickups that I got. And now we will move on to the Barnes & Noble picks that I bought from their app. Um, this is not at all sponsored in any way by Barnes & Noble. Um, I was just, you know, I looking for new... new venues and new outlets to purchase manga from and Barnes I've bought Barnes and Nobles 
manga before or manga from Barnes and Noble before, and um, buying online from Barnes and Noble is actually kind of easy, and they're, they're all of their stuff ships to you a lot faster than right stuff does. Um, I don't know why. But uh, I am still waiting for two packages from Right Stuff Anime to come in. Granted, one of them was a pre-order, and I don't know when that's going to be shipping. But the other one, it should be here, like, any, any time, right? Any time. So, um, very stressless ordering on the Barnes & Noble's uh, app. I'm sure you could order off of the Barnes & Noble website as well. Very stressful, I'd recommend it if you're in need of a quick fix. They got some exclusives and some other stuff, some popular series and stuff. They have different sections for different animes and manga and stuff. So the first one that I picked up was uh, the Sailor Moon uh, number one. This is the Naoko Takeuchi collection. So this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I I think this is one of those, like, it's kind of like an omnibus, but not really an omnibus. Uh, from what I've seen, because I've, I've flipped through this uh, already, I haven't started reading it because I have, a couple, again, a couple of other manga that I want to get through before I start reading anything new. Um, this one also comes with a poster that I don't want to take out of Usagi. She, she's in two different poses and she's posing as Sailor Moon. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that in there because the last time uh, I tried to take a poster out of a manga this size, it ripped, so I'm just gonna leave it in. Um, so yeah, I got this one. I think this, this is like an omnibus, but it's not. That's what I was talking about. Because uh, where this ends, they're just introduced to Sailor V, and I know in the anime that doesn't happen until like episode 10 or so. I think I forget, it's been a while. I'm on like episode 80 of Sailor Moon, so it's been a long time since they've all like since they've been introduced, so uh, that's cool. And then I have an anime in my Hulu watch list. And I don't know when I'm going to get around to it, because right now I'm watching Sailor Moon and Inuyasha on Hulu, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to get around to watching either of those, uh, watching this series. So I figured I would take a crack at the manga first to see if it's something I would actually enjoy. And that is Nana, or N-A, N-A, Nana, Nana, Nene, Nana, I don't I think Nana. I'm gonna go with Nana because that seems like the least offensive pronunciation of the the word. Um, don't know what it's about. I'm going in completely blind, and the only reason why I pick these two this is I got volumes one and two. Uh, the only reason and I do this thing same thing with with albums buying new music albums. I just thought it would be interesting. I thought it would be a good read. I thought it would be a good watch. Uh, and so I'm going to try reading the first two volumes. And um, if I like the two volumes, I am going to get more. And I just realized, I just realized that I'm pretty sure if I read it, look, look at the two, look at these two covers, right? They are very similar, except in this one, she's sitting all alone and very depressed and it's not, you know, kind of dull and bland. And in this one, she's got someone with her. So she, uh, you know, that gives a lot of context clues right there as to what the story might be about. At least to me, it gives me a, a little hint as to what is going to be taking place in this manga. So that is all of the manga that I have picked up within the last month so far. 
and thank you guys so much for finding this video. Until next time, see ya.